Okay, this is my new design for my uh, zero current leakage wet cell. Uh, everything's done on my computerized milling machine. This hole is done, and then, then the, these are uh, pre drilled on my machine for the uh, screw holes. And the whole cell is tongue and groove. You can see the channel right here, and you've got the slots right here for the uh, stainless which is laser cut so that the stainless does not move it stays constant in one spot if you want to adjust the frequency or anything and then it goes together fairly easy you got the one side plate right here you can see how that's made uh, yeah, you see that okay there you go and then it's got the channels in there and then that just fits on just pops in there like that okay and then this one here just pop in there and then we'll take uh, one of these and slide it down this channel here like so and then on this side slide it right in there Oops. there it goes now before I drill the holes for the uh, screws I need to make sure it's square so I just put a couple plates in here slide those right down in there like that on this end, so put, there it is. Now I gotta put the top cap on, just like so. Now we'll go uh, drill these holes for the screws, and we'll get back. To okay, here we have my wet cell semi-finished here and it's a diamond configuration so it sits in the in there like this okay uh, oops now hold on all right now you got your negative and positive terminals here okay and your outlet will be here now it lets on the bottom opposite side okay and let's take this plate off for now and you can see these are exposed rest you see them but when you put the cover on the slots in the cover will cover this so there won't be any current leakage and then I've also made these little corner inserts slide over the uh, beveled part here to uh, make sure there's no current leakage there and if you can see this has got slots for the stainless and also has slots for the air to come out between each one so that's uh, where the air will come out and then on the bottom you can see that this is this is a A4 stainless both the nuts and the uh, and they all thread are A4 high grade stainless and these uh, these in, these corner inserts have no air vents in them so they just slide down inside there and they limit the amount of fluid that can get to the, uh, the electrical connections here okay and then after I get this in place I will fill this up with silicone so there will be no way that this will ever short out and spark or ignite the HHO gas all I gotta do now is put the silicone on it and finish putting the screws together